Hey guys, I'm Marta Geek. In this video, I wanted to share a look at Samsung DeX. After all these years, I haven't even used it. Wow, it's been like more than two years that I haven't touched Samsung DeX. And I just got my Z Fold 6. Uh, I have just have this case right here. I did a video for it. Uh, but I decided to go ahead and try it out to see how good it is now in 2024. And I gotta say, it has been getting a lot better. So first of all, to actually access it, there's a couple of ways to. You can actually go to the toggle section right here, and like you see right here, it says uh, Samsung DeX. When you tap on it, it actually lets you know that you can actually use this feature via wireless. So if you have a device, like a TV that has like uh, wireless features, like for example, this one says Samsung 7 uh, series, uh, Roku Ultra, so you can actually do it wirelessly right now here in this location right here i don't have a wireless device so i'm gonna have to look a streaming stick as, as well popped up so i'm gonna have to actually do it wired which like you see right here in the picture it shows you wireless and wired so you, you could use either way so another thing you want to do also go to you might want to visit the settings section go to connected devices and right here you see samsung dex uh, make sure you actually have this enabled. It says auto start when HDMI is connected. That way, when you connect it, it automatically launches. So I think by default, it was actually off. Make sure you turn it on. That way, you don't really have to actually look for the application. And then when you click right here, it just shows you the same thing that I showed you before. So now that I have auto start, right? So now all you have to do is just plug in. I'm using a USB-C cable to USB-C over here to the monitor. Tap it right there. Well, it recognizes it. The cool thing is that it also charges your phone at the same time, so you're not burning battery. You're actually charging your phone at the same time while you're using a desktop experience or a PC experience on your monitor. And look at that. Of course, it uses uh, independent uh, wallpaper. So right now, like, see, that one is actually, like, gray and black the one that i have on my phone is actually like the blue and bluish and that's it so like you see there you see a, like a desktop it looks like a pc and all that and now you can actually also use your phone as your um touchpad so all you got to do is like swipe down right here it says use your phone as touchpad tap right there and voila now you have a touchpad here you can use different kind of gestures as well like if you do use three fingers up, it's like, see that it'll, it'll show you something on TV or on the monitor. You could click right here and it will like invert the input or the swipe. Right. But if you want to get familiarized with the touch features, just double tap right there. And you can see here you got, it shows you all the features or the gestures you could do using your phone. You got two finger swipe, two finger swipe, for zoom in, zoom out, touch and hold with one finger, uh, touch and hold and move. Uh, you got tap with three fingers, tap with four fingers, uh, swipe up or down with three fingers, and swipe left or right with three fingers. So like you see that, you can also access that at any time right here as well. Uh, the other cool thing you could do, uh, if you want to close this, just double tap right there and it will just close that. And you might want to close it if you're going to be using, like, for example, your keyboard uh, and you want to use your phone for something else. You want to watch videos or do whatever thing you want to do on your phone. That's something cool. Um, here, I actually have uh, this keyboard hooked up to the monitor or to the phone. Of course, you have to hook it up to the phone via Bluetooth. And the cool thing is, since you have your touchpad and you have your keyboard, you you don't need an, a separate device, but you can have a keyboard and a mouse. But in this case, I'm using this. So if I tap right here, I can actually see all the application. And I think if I move, yeah, I would have to tap over here. See, to see all the applications that's on my phone. A lot of these applications actually work here on this device. I think we could do the three finger stripe here as well. No, I guess not, but you could do the two finger swipe and right here, boom, and you can access uh, sort by, screen zoom, wallpaper, gallery. You can access your gallery here. So if you have pictures you want to see, you can actually use your keyboard 
tab over here to go through the pictures. That's cool. So yeah, you, basically you could use this like a PC. So that's cool that you could turn your your smartphone into a PC. And keep in mind, I'm doing it. I'm doing this on the Z Fold Six, but I believe this feature is available on almost every other smartphone, high-end smartphone from Samsung. If I tap on settings, uh, you can actually let me see. I think there is options for. Uh, you click right there. And yeah, you have a couple options here for font, screen size, screen zoom, uh, screen timeout connected to display, wallpaper, display, uh, display resolution. The display resolution right there is actually cool because it will automatically adjust to the monitor. This is a 34 inch wire, uh, ultra wide, it's, so it automatically it puts the recommended resolution 3440 by 40. 1440 that's something cool but if you want to change the resolution you can actually change the resolution as well but in my case that's the perfect resolution option so that's cool that you have that option there you know it, it makes it feel like a freaking normal pc app icons taskbar if you want to control what's available on the taskbar you can actually do that as well you got of course all the applications like my files you got the play store you got the internet browser over here on the side, you can take a screenshot. So you'll take a screenshot. You got the volume. You got this right here, which is like notifications. Uh, you can see the over here in the corner. You can see the options for dark mode, multi media mode, Bluetooth devices, vibration. And of course, you can see the calendar as well, which is all the way over there so it actually feels like a pc but of course the other cool thing that you could do here that i really liked is that uh you can use the gaming hub which is the samsung application that stores all the games you have downloaded in your on your phone and from there you can actually play video games like you see here with a bluetooth controller i'm actually playing zoneless zen zero and it plays just freaking awesome on the ultra wide. And this is running on from the smartphone, which is amazing. And it looks like it's actually running on a PC connected to the freaking monitor. So that's incredible. I also did play uh, the speed Disney Speedstorm, and it just looks very, very, very awesome as well. The screen, the resolution, everything you know goes folds up the full screen and it doesn't look like kind of weird it actually looks perfect like it should 1440p very very perfectly so yeah other than that i just want to share this with you guys because uh, i think this is a feature that a lot of people they have on their phone you have the ability to convert your your cell phone into a full-blown pc but don't even know about it and don't even use that feature at all and like i said this feature is not new. This has been here for years already. It's been years and years since Samsung DeX is available on Samsung devices, but it's been getting better. And it's been like almost two years I don't try it out. And so far I'm trying it out. And I gotta say, they, this is way better than I remember. This is way, way better than I remember. So yeah, just want to share that with you guys. And like I said, you know, you could use the touchpad here on your, on your phone which works perfectly because it has all the gestures you need to actually navigate on your phone when you're done with this and you want to disconnect there's a couple options you can actually go all the way let me see i think it's uh no yeah you could go here and just press exit decks you could do that or you could just disconnect and that's it like i said this is awesome that you can still do samsung dex and it's actually pretty damn good it has improved gaming on it it's actually pretty awesome too so let me know in the comments what you think about samsung dex are you a avid user of samsung dex so guys thanks for watching this video let me know in the comments what you think about samsung dex in 2024 till next time guys bye bye